Hello, everyone. Today, I'll be talking with Dustin Watton. Dustin is an active member of the U.S. men's volleyball team. He's played in Poland, Brazil, France, Finland, and he just got back from VNL, the Volleyball Nations League. And today, we're going to be talking, hopefully, a lot about philosophy, maybe some diet. And yeah, yeah, yeah we'll try to jump around to volleyball, but I don't like to talk about volleyball very much on here. So. <laughs> What, uh, what got you into stoicism, man? Yeah, so uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was actually after that 2015 when I made my first uh, debut with the national team. And uh, man, it felt great. Finally made it, made it in quotation marks. Uh, and then got the trip to the World Cup won the World Cup with the team and just felt so good, felt like I made it. And uh, after that, I had to go to my team in France and uh, it was not a good situation or looking back, it was a great situation. Um, as soon as I got there, they were already like two months into it. Like one of the first days I got into it, like the team was like yelling at each other, like getting after it, like in the locker room, I'm like what's going on? I asked the coach and he's just like, oh, they're like, debating about wearing uniforms to practice because the captain suggests that we we didn't have a lot enough like t-shirts to wear every day so they're trying to organize it and like that just kind of summed up the year it's just a bunch of guys that really weren't professional a bunch of egos not good players and uh it was a really difficult season um uh, we ended up going three and 23 um uh, just not a lot of joy in training, a lot of frustration, um, a lot of victim mentality by myself because I just experienced such a high, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, this shouldn't be happening. This isn't right. This coach isn't good. These players aren't dedicated. I don't really have any friends. My girlfriend broke up with me. And it's just like all these things that previously made me happy. And when like, I think of happy, I think of like things outside that external things, right? Or maybe like, a, um, like sense pleasures or maybe like joys within. So uh, after one particular game where I was just like fed up with our setter, he was like pulling his hands on like balls that were like right at the tape. He'd like pull, I was like, man, I gotta get out of here. Like, I don't deserve this, da 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 da. You know, I kept on repeating these same things over and over. Called my agent, vented to him. Luckily he was like, I guess we could say stoic, the little S. He was just kind of like, okay, you know, relax. We'll figure something out. He's like, let's just have a couple of days to think about it. So the next day I went to a cafe and I just had meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Never really opened it. My brother gave it to me. I started reading it and I just started realizing like, this wasn't necessarily the reality I was experiencing. It was the reality I was creating for myself. One of uh, pity, this victim mentality, it's not fair, it's not right. Where looking at in the mirror, I wasn't doing everything that I could or everything that was in my control. So at the time I had uh, this list and then uh, I was just like, you know what, this is the one thing that's in my control doing these micro tasks throughout the day. I was like, I'm just gonna go three weeks where I do 100% of everything and just like make sure I'm doing my part. I did that. And uh, every, every day started to become like the, the best day ever. And after that, I was just kind of sold on stoicism and just started, you know, diving deeper and learning more about the philosophy. But uh, it was this thought of uh, kind of reaching salvation and then going quickly back down to darkness. And then this was a tool to kind of pull me out of it while going uh, with it rather than um, hoping something outside of me would save me.